Okay, so it's 1.53 a.m. Friday, the 21st of January, 2022. I'm lying in my bed. Bed. <laughs> Beat. <laughs> Hear the Kiwi accent there. <laughs> in my hostel here in Ecuador. And... Camera. So... This is kind of a, this is a departure from the format that I said to be following recently where I had pleasant video of nice outdoor nature scenes here in Ecuador, but I'm feeling a bit depressed and isolated right now and this gives me something to do <laughs> to take my mind off that and it also, uh, not an easy time, so it gives me something to do. And I have this backlog of dreams, which I need to clear. And I can do it quite quickly now because most people, pretty much everyone else is asleep by this point in my hostel. So the internet's really quick. My videos will upload in about two minutes. But if I try to do it in the daytime, uh, it's really slow. It takes forever. So In this dream, so I'll, I'll, the first one I'm going to do, <laughs> downside about doing it at this early in the morning is my, <laughs> I'm tired, so my mind isn't working so quickly, but, uh, so the first one that I'll talk about is <laughs> a dream I had in the last two or three months, I had this dream about mm, seven to eight weeks ago. So that is in mid-December slash between mid-November to mid-December 2021. In the stream, I was in Wellington. Wellington, capital city of New Zealand. And it was pretty quick, but it was very memorable because this was an event which other dreams the other recurring prophetic dreams from the Holy Spirit have kind of been leading up to so I've been seeing other dreams and they all kind of fit together in a timeline but I haven't been given them uh, in the sometimes it's a bit jumbled up like I get the first two pieces and then and then like a year later I'll get piece number seven and then a year later, I'll get piece number five. But piece by piece, I've been given these interlocking pieces which form a timeline and a story. And this is one of the most important pieces because I've been showing stuff after the invasion. I've been showing stuff before the invasion. This dream, I was actually being shown the invasion. And I was shown Wellington. It was pretty quick. There's not a lot, lot to say. I wish, I, I wish there was more. But the scenes I saw were like in a movie. In one of them, I was in Brooklyn, the suburb high on hills to the south of the central business district of Wellington. It was about 4, let's say, it was between 4.30 and 6, 4.30 and 6.30 p.m. It was eve, early evening, and there was this huge battle. And I could see the city lit up, and you could, like, the light was fading from the sky. It was, you know, I could feel that was the time of day. And it was just explosions and just total chaos. And you could see tracer fire in the central streets. And I could see the lines of Chinese soldiers coming up through the city like ants. And it was really chaotic. And the sense I got in the dream. Uh, the invaders were surprised by the ferocity and the strength of the local resistance. It was more than they'd anticipated. It had kind of taken them off guard. But then what they did, they hit back with ferocity and advanced weapons that kind of took the New Zealanders off guard. And I, I'm just going to say, it. this is what I saw. I, I looked out from this, the crest of this hill in Brooklyn and I looked out towards Wellington Airport and they, they nuked. They nuked Wellington Airport. And I saw the flash and then I just ducked down as, as the, the shockwave came. And it was like a small, it was a small nuclear weapon. I, I, 
I can hardly believe I'm saying this, but this is just what I got shown. And then it was total chaos. And there was this, I was in this house and there was this Kiwi girl, a New Zealand European young woman. She would have been about 22 who was panicking. And she just ran in off the street and she saw me and she like jumped and screamed because she thought I was a Chinese soldier and that I was going to shoot her. And she was uh, just looking to take cover. And then quickly finish this off because I don't have much storage space on my phone. Then the Holy Spirit showed me a scene. It was like a movie. I saw the Annamite mountain range, which is down the spine of Indochina behind Vietnam. And I saw uh, a big Russian tat strategic bomber um, flying over it. And I saw an enormous mushroom cloud, but it was talking about the Chinese and the Holy Spirit was saying, uh, China, no one will be able to stop China. I'm getting chills now as I'm saying this but some nations will choose to fight regardless. And it was saying New Zealand and Australia, they won't be able to stop China, but they'll choose to go down the fighting. And then it said like, and then it also said Vietnam will be another nation that apparently will choose to fight. And then I saw mushroom clouds showing that they'll nuke Vietnam. So they'll, um, if anyone tries to fight back, they'll just beat the crap out of them with nuclear weapons and bludgeon them into submission. But New Zealand will be among these countries that fight back and they'll fight back hard. So Chinese will be unstoppable, but some countries will go down fighting. That's what I was shown.